Hello and welcome back to XCOM 2 Legendary Iron Man Exquisite Timing, the second attempt. My name is Saigon. We are going to uh, go still for our world's first Legendary Iron Man Permanent Dark Events Exquisite Timing. And the game has definitely heard our calls after having had such rough missions. Um, we're now up for a council mission. Council missions uh, last for 24 hours uh, before they disappear. I um, or We had um, two soldiers that were tired just on the brink of, um, uh, of that one day period. So what I did was I uh, flew back a little bit in between these areas. I wouldn't recommend that for um, less experienced players because uh, you uh, tend to end up missing the mission at the end and it happens to me as well but i get a relatively good feel about uh, when the 24 hours are over so i barely managed to get here um, and we're now going to uh, essentially launch the mission nine enemies uh, no um, uh, no um, chosen on this mission and luckily for us we got bones and heart bite back from being tired that's great hayward uh, zirkin are with us as well so the core of the team uh, we have a lot of other uh, just injured people so we need to fill the team with whatever we have in this case it's mike bravo and uh, corporate gobolev um, our no-name russian friend um, so yeah that really makes up for our team as you can see we've now finally uh, gotten to this kind of six-man roster which we were uh, looking for so things are actually going okay last time at the end of uh, the mission i did a bit of a calculation about just um, how much intel we would need and how much time for research and it is absolutely close so cannot miss a beat now. look at that we just landed in the middle of nowhere so we got our scientist we definitely need that can't uh, lose him and we definitely also need the intel for completing the mission nine enemies that means i am trusting you we're gonna move in as far as we can And just for the purpose of this movement, uh, let's actually move up all the way here. Got the first pack over there. Taking high ground. Oh, fuck, I forgot we're not concealed. Shit, that might even trigger them. Holy moly, we just barely did not trigger them. Ah, I totally forgot. For a moment I was like, yeah, we're concealed. What are you even talking about? Oh no, we're not. Solid copy. All right, Hogbite definitely needs to get to the front line. Pretty sure this here is not going to trigger. Yeah, that's going to trigger, but that's fine. Nothing wrong with uh, them running into cover. And in this case, even taking some damage. There you go. Good, one trooper down. Thousands to go, as they tend to say. Good. Templar does have an option to get the stun lancer. I do not yet want to uh, waste the grenade. Instead, let's just prevent anyone from moving up to up here. Yeah, that would most likely be a kill. 
but there is a chance that we're not critting. Hayward here can flank him. So I might as well want to do that. Alright, he's down to 5 hit points, which is still not enough to kill him 100% of the times. Continuing to move up. Just double checking what kind of hack we could get. Not that I'm particularly keen to do it. We only got nine enemies. Dodge, dodge, and we don't want reinforcements, so that's a no. Thank you. A no, thank you. Mike's moving up. Zirkin is getting into high ground as well. Don't want to use lightning hands now, so might as well just fire the pistol. Armor still holding. The problem with uh, armor and ballistic weapons is it's just making the ballistic weapons even weaker than they normally are. So there's the extra focus, very nice. Might as well use a parry. Aye, aye. And Mike just gets up here. Our scientist moves all the way up there. I will reposition. And we are continuing to scout ahead. I like the high grounds here. As you order, Commander. An alien scouting party. Okay, very good. Well, that pack down there is more dangerous than you might think uh, because the mech might as well jump up here and find us. Can't hit anyone with a sniper rifle. I'm thinking about taking hike around over here this here would trigger them Moving out. don't want to do that so Instead, let's get as close as here's not triggering them barely. Let's get as close as possible without triggering them. Rolling. All right, and this is purely for the better aiming angles. Zirkim has a relatively good to hit, so we should be fine. Come get some. Nice little overwatch. VIP stays back. And I would say this here is better be safe than sorry. The pack totally could move into our direction if they would do that. 
we would uh, tr uh, trigger them. Hayward might trigger them now. The answer is no. Bypassing security. Why am I even trying that? It's the same rewards. Yeah, dodge increase. No, thank you. Alright, fair enough. Haven't triggered anyone. Well, that changed now pretty rapidly. Luckily for us, uh, we're following the rule of uh, move only once, first with blue moves for everyone, and then actually start um, doing your actions. That way we haven't lost single action here. Okay, so Hayward can only get the sector. Hmm, that's a bummer. So how about, I'm trying to find a good way of eliminating I will go. the advent. Good. So that one is down. Sector is not a problem. The Advent Mech is a problem though. Moving in. Okay, so far so good. Getting the focus up, getting a nice little parry. We're then going to we're team working. Wait a second. That'll be five points of damage. I think we are ignoring armor. It's only 50% chance to kill it. We need to deal one more point of damage. Closing on target position now. Can't stand uh, clustered up because that will that um, make him use uh, rockets. And there's an actual chance of revealing us. Unfortunately, the blood trail alone is not good enough. We have 100% hit chance, that's good. But we're, we're really missing the certainty here and there, the crit chance isn't super high. Mm. I'm just overwatching. This is going to be a mind spin or a resurrection. Mind spin, that's fine. Yeah, a little bit of panic. 
And there's going to be a shot into parry. Oh no, even in Overwatch. Well, that is interesting. This is going to remove Overwatch no matter what. We're reloading with the Reaper. That's a secured kill. Yeah, we gotta move a bit forward. Thirty-two percent is definitely not a really nice chance to hit. On the upside, we don't need to have a nice chance of hitting if we can just kill it uh, with our melee attack. Moving up, we're going to grab the loot soon. And there we go. Scientist moves down. We only got one more pack to go. So far, pretty clean mission. But I'm happy that the mission is easy compared to the ones that we had beforehand. Hayward moves in as well. And there's just one pack to go. We still got our claymore, so if we play our cards right, we should be okay. If the, car, uh, if the pack isn't even moving, we have all the chances in the world to just eliminate them. They had been here. Oak says I am to obey. Let's say, see if they still are there. Very much so. Good. We're moving up. And up. Running. Moving to designated position. And superior hair trigger, that isn't bad. Plus a data pad for even more intel. As if the game would know that we need intel. Heading there now. And my Bravo. Finally our VIP. Okay, they decide to continue to stay there, which is definitely fine for me. The trap is set. This here is probably going to end a few of them. That's 11 points of damage plus 4 points of falling damage. Just kill all three of them, seriously. Moving on target location. All right, so that's one down. I get it. That's the second one down. Wow, okay. Those guys were tripping. I see the path. 
Mike moves up. Hayward moves up. And the VIP moves up. Well, that was an easy kill for the last pack. A little bit anticlimactic, but uh, boy boy, 11 points of damage and 4 falling damage. Certainly make for a nice little sandwich. Imagine them standing up there minding their own business and then zoom. <laughs> All of a sudden, they are just getting destroyed. Pummeled from the left field. Completely unaware. Alright, easy peasy. Lemon squeezy. For this mission, let's get some promotions, guys. And we are landing. Come on. At least one or two promotions, Nothing please. Like a few dead eh, not bad. I was hoping for a bit more. Whatever. Hayward gets the field medic. So we're looking at what? Lieutenant rank. Got some extra will. Got an advent data pad, which is great, and a superior hair trigger, which isn't bad either. More importantly, we got Intel and we got Dr. Toby Porter, a scientist. We're now rocking six scientists plus two, that's eight, plus 20%, so we're rocking 10 scientists. If I can't pull it off now with the research, I don't know if we're going to get a similarly good run just from a research perspective. And since that was the big downfall, I might even argue that this is uh, probably a very, very lucky run from an RNG perspective for scientists. Might not be so lucky from an Intel perspective, but we'll get there eventually. Another engineer could be something. We need to wait until the Shadow Project um, encrypted codex is uh, done. Let's take a look at just generally our resource, okay? so. Shadow Chamber two days until the until the project. We still got the black side vial for seven days. That's good. We gotta do that as well. Okay, cool. We then also need to expand rapidly into Eastern Europe. We can already do that with the Intel. Almost. Got nine more Intel to go, but that's fine. We can we could do that. Yeah. What these recruits lack in experience, they make up for. Let's get nine more intel, and then we start with the engineer. Because if we can get one, two, and start building here next, we're not losing any time. Our critical pass really needs to be to. Do all of the research as fast as humanly possible. Yeah, let's go for some intel. For Sector 9, Western United States. Perfect. We got a final room. Final and so far as with the existing engineers that we do have, we now can build resistance communications. We need to do that. Uh, there's no way around it. 32 days is probably a little bit too long. So yo, yo, wait a second. Good. 16 days until resistance communications is up and running. We got to stick two of our engineers permanently into the power relay elsewhere. We can't power all of uh, the buildings at the same time. It's just an unfortunate fact. 
Mm. Which means also that our excavation into the third tier will probably not happen even with a quicker excavation. We'll get one engineer now. Oh, could get one engineer now. Hmm. And this engineer would be freed up, so I don't know. Maybe maybe we could uh, pull it off. It's still the entirety of uh, June, half of July. That's like, what, 45 days? Yeah, I'm not sure. Which also questions whether or not we should even get the engineer. For now, it's all about intel. And we got the new objective to bra uh, breach the alien network, which is great. So with the school uh, jack on the codex, we will get the avatar. Uh, the avatar like is exactly what uh, what we would be uh, looking for as a research. Uh, we can't can't do anything else at this point. Got to continue the research. Black side bio. So we got the use the school check on a codex. That's great. Uh, the black side vial um, project will give us um, the other coordinates. And since there are always codices at the gatekeeper mission here, we might want to consider uh, going there rather sooner than later. We can make immediate contact theoretically all the way up to here and then could start building a network tower. Good, so there's the intel that we would need. Your Templar friends are no there's a disadvantage of going here and here now, prior to um, the Black Side Vial being done, because the Black Side Vial will prompt the last storyline mission, which is the mission for the suit, and it can spawn anywhere from our area up to two, or how I learned, four fields away. Which means if we keep our um, area nice and tight, it we might be lucky and it just spawns here or here. <clears throat> so, kind of an easy contact, or if we're lucky it might even spawn here, or who knows, like here. So something that we can uh, reach easier. So I'm going to wait until expanding here for the next five more days. We're now almost at the beginning of June. This is the last research that we need uh, before we are doing the um, two big missions, uh, the Gatekeeper mission and the Suit mission. Gatekeeper mission um, constitutes for another 10 to 15 days of um, research and that other mission also 10 to 15 days and then another 10 to 15 days for the avatar and then we can go to Waterworld. like those are the steps so we just need to figure out the intel and we should be fine continuing with intel i feel is the right way to go here The other option is getting like that big chunk of intel. Uh, five days is around 20, 25 intel. That's probably twice as much. So let's get the intel here. Avenger plotting new course. It's nicely from a timing perspective. Nice, look at that, we got another engineer. Maybe I was wrong with my engineers, I kind of did not have him on the radar. The good part is we got the promotions. And... Now, what are the options here? I like the hunting um, of getting deeper into the Reaper tree. Like, that's another 14 days, maybe another... 
14 days afterwards so if we can make it work we might as well go to the stronghold of her and invade it uh, that could be an option can't recruit the reaper yet which is a big um, a big turn off this here would be nice the faction soldier a higher level one Yeah, Inter would be the other good reward. But let's go with um, with this here. I like it. Um, Dr. Noxus leads it. We don't want anyone captured. So how about Renvin? It's getting there as well. And who gets the plus one health? Yeah, I feel we want to stick with Hogwife for now. Because he and Bones had been pretty, pretty instrumental. And it feels with... Um, yeah, maybe I want too much. Maybe getting to that mission is is uh, getting to that uh, chosen is unrealistic. But on the other hand, it's a bonus mission. It gives us XP, and we're just at the lieutenant rank. Like quickly, it is a huge exception with being a major, and this year is really not good enough. Got a lot of wounded soldiers as well. Hmm. Who gets the plus one HP? Can we do anything with those four? Probably not the best team. Well, we got some potential rookies that we could take onto that mission as well. Who knows? Okay, anyways, I want to go in and get a good reward and also make the time here worthwhile so i think putting hogbite uh, with a plus one help isn't the worst idea i think we might even see an ambush on this uh, on those missions uh, this year could be experience for all of them and might even level them up i mean why not uh, the chosen definitely the additional uh, the additional option for resistance order is uh, is intriguing the other option is to simply go and get more more influence here now i should follow that one we're essentially getting the best katana and the best weapon out of it if we're really uh, going through with um, with the entire plan. And by the way, we should do it the other way around. I think Renman should get the extra health because Hawkbite, realistically speaking, has parry and... Uh, we've seen Renvin take quite a few hits. So yeah, Soldier Wounded Moderate. Mm. That's bad. It again means that someone will sit out. But the question is, what else would I do? Well, we were just not blessed with the, uh, with the nicest rewards. I could go for a Skirmisher. Fair enough. That would uh, that would definitely be helpful. The inter uh, the re uh, reaper would be much better, and we can't get that without that influence. So, I made my choice. I think there is enough we'll upside the job, in worry, getting a second reaper as well. All right, quick feet here. Could get a focus. Eh, I think we can. Get him something better. Untouchable. Very nice. 
Um, yeah. Overall, very good. We got our first nature. Well, that's awesome. And we got Divat here, who is being promoted to another assault. Cool, great. Good job, buddy. Welcome to the team. Wonderful. Good, we have another ranger in training, which is fine. Tygen insists our forces should have no trouble disabling a codex in the field. And we do have one more engineer. So we're still clearing that alien machinery here. Don't think it's necessarily bad to continue that, but I'm also not going to go for the other engineer on the, uh, on the globe. Made my point, we need more intel, and more intel it is. There will be no sanctuary for those who would stand in open defiance of the elders. They will suffer in the endless fields of the void. Alright, what, what do we have? A heavy price with the chosen running Protect the device for supplies. Probably not worth it. Again. Commander. With the number of contacts 100 into us what we're going to do for for multiple sites around the world this is definitely what we're going to do we have the resources to respond to one of them yeah the it's not yours. even a question this here is what we're going to do 100 into or shoot us into the realm of uh, 350 into plus whatever we get here um, that could be easily 400 into so that's good enough to really push through Perfect. I like it. Good. So it was a shorter episode today. As always, thank you so much for watching. We're at the beginning of June, uh, meaning one and a half more month. And we are researching like crazy guys. So this is absolutely fantastic. Um, 10 scientists in beginning of June. This is just, that is madness. We're researching enormously fast. So with that being said, if you enjoyed the content, um, I noticed that more of 80% of the viewers of my videos are not subscribed to the channel. So how's this even uh, working out, guys? Uh, if you're not subscribed yet, click that wonderful subscribe button and enjoy more content. All right, see you in the next mission. Bye-bye.